I really want to stop child sexual abuse from happening. And we can't do it just by having this mentality of we need to protect our children from outside forces. Because the reality is, is that 30 to 40% of child sexual abuse is perpetrated by children. So one, yes, that means other children could be a threat to our child. But what that also means is that our children are capable of committing sexual abuse. And whether we like it or not, that is a reality. And a lot of people don't really want to acknowledge that. We really just want to focus on these are our babies. We need to protect our babies. We also need to protect our babies from committing sexual abuse against other children. And that's really hard because a lot of people don't want to accept that that's a possibility. But when we don't accept that, we're not actively trying to prevent it. We're actually potentially creating an environment that could enable it because we're choosing to be willfully blind to that opportunity. But the good news is, is that a lot of the things that we do to protect children from sexual abuse, um, talking to them about body safety, consent, respect, appropriate behaviors, inappropriate behaviors, empathy for other people, that's a two-way street. And so it's really important to talk to kids about body safety as if it is a two-way street. It's not just about them. It's also about how they treat other people. And it's also really important to consider the fact that pornography plays a huge role in children committing sexual abuse. That almost in all cases of children committing sexual abuse, that child either experienced previous abuse in some form, whether it was sexual, physical, emotional, or neglect. But in many, many cases, those children were exposed to pornography. And we have a huge issue right now with children being exposed to pornography. A lot of parents out there give their children carte blanche access to games and apps and social media, and they really have no idea what their children are potentially being exposed to and what they probably are facing out there. We're just kind of assuming that they're on there having fun. And even if our kids don't mean to come across this kind of information, it's probably going to be pushed on them. Someone's going to send them something or they're going to see something on someone else's phone or someone's going to talk to them about it. So it's really important that we as parents and schools and daycares and everywhere where kids are, we're all working together to minimize the risk of exposed to pornography because it's not a good thing for kids. And we really all have to be working together to protect and empower children, minimizing those opportunities so that we can keep all kids safe because that's the end goal.